In the scenes that follow, key figures relive their actual roles in the May 14 coup. The 10 man snatch squad and their same leader do it all again. For Ann Booker, this is only the second time he's been inside Parliament House. The first was on the day of the coup. A bit late. Uh, I went and got to give me a rain so that my elite 60 could uh, wear wrinkled on jacket. Uh, and if they were those, it would be easier for them to uh, conceal their weapons inside their wrinkled on jackets. Then get that to rain. Uh, believe then that everything I was doing was uh, according to God's plan. No greater sacrifice, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, can be compared. When I walked in, I, I was thinking about whether we had to shoot someone. Uh, I was trying to, uh, to work out uh, a worst-case situation when we would have to, sh to fire a shot into the air. And the surprise element was the very thing that would uh, prevent our having to fire a shot. Sitavani Ranbuka himself was unarmed, in case metal detectors were in use. All ten members of the snatch squad carried 9mm pistols. But the pistols were not caught and did not have a bullet in the breach, according to the Colonel and Captain X, who led the squad. As it happened, Tokay leader Dan Vaitata was delivering his maiden speech when the Colonel arrived just before 10 a.m. Key units of the Elite 60 had begun to surround the neighborhood and key communications points. The snatch squad was heading directly for Parliament House. Vaitata's speech, he says, was written two years before for his election campaign. Astonishingly, it was very much in tune with the event about to occur, which would change Fiji forever. Land was everything that there was to the Fiji. Now, after having extended the acts of friendship to the other races, to share in everything that we have, to then in turn, the pass of the back is a sort of uh, gratitude and appreciation for all that we have done for them. And they will also take a cognizance of the fact of our position and set the actual traits of, of uh, ownership uh, to this country. Regrettably, Mr. Speaker, sir, the answer is no. And the all we've been getting from them is a straight to keep right on our bloody faces. God, Vaitata pointed out, had made people speak in different tongues and languages and sent them out into the world. In each instance, these first comers had established exclusive rights of ownership over the land chosen for them by God. Based on that, the Fiji belongs to the Fijians. And uh, the same we can also say for India, it belongs to the Indigenous and stay cool. You told us what the increment has caused, but listen to what I'm going to tell you. Please stay calm, ladies and gentlemen. Rain calm. Mr. Prime Minister, if you lead your team down to the right. Policemen, keep the passage clear. Stay down, remain calm. Mr. Prime Minister, sir, if you lead your team out now.
the Queen Elizabeth military barracks outside Suva was heavily guarded by soldiers, hiding their identity with gas masks and balaclavas. Do you want to stop here? No, you don't. Stay there. Stop, stop, stop. Stop there. Okay. 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 No, we've been down at the Parliament. You were there in the morning? Yes. Hi, it's uh, Marion Wilkinson from Australian Television. No comment. Is there anyone? Yeah, we'll clear the road. Is there anyone who can talk to us at all? Any? Press conference later on. A press conference here? Uh, we'll, everyone will be notified where and when. Uh-huh, right. But there's no one who can talk to us. Can you tell us whether Dr. Bavandra's okay? And he's staying here, is he? Yes. And the other members of the government? Being okay meant the nation's prime minister and government were herded at gunpoint like convicts, hostages of the military. Is that okay? I'll probably talk louder. I will talk louder so other people can hear. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that you're all now aware of the events of this morning. At 10 o'clock this morning, members of the Royal Fiji Military Forces took over the government of Fiji. They have neutralized parliament and by the same process have suspended the constitution of Fiji. I have had some reshuffles in the police force to ensure that the officers I have the most confidence in are running there. Well, I, I would call it a preemptive move. Uh, uh, I have uh, preempted the the actions of the government of calling upon its own uh, military forces to uh, act against the, the peoples of the nation. 
and also uh, preempting the uh, the activities of these of, of these groups that could have led to to a pretty bad situation. Colonel Ramuka. Yes. yes. Colonel Ramuka. If there is the, a need to uh, impose a curfew in the uh, interest of uh, personal security, we will. What, what was the